Uh, hey everyone who's just tuning in, my name is Russell Brunson and today we're gonna be talking about Facebook funnels. Every day I go through a bunch of questions you guys ask me about building your company and growing your traffic and your sales and your leads and all sorts of fun stuff and today we're talking about Facebook funnels. So the question is, how do sales funnels and Facebook funnels match up? How should I be using Facebook? Um, so that's a good question and the strategy changes often in a lot of different ways but I'm gonna kind of walk you through the basic principles that we, that we focus on here at ClickFunnels as we're growing ours. So um, for me and for our team, everything kind of starts at the offer level, right? So we figure out first off, like what is the offer we want to make, okay? So the offer is like, I'm going to sell this and they're going to get this and they're going to get this. We figure out the offer, right? Then we come back and say, okay, cool, that's the offer they're getting. Then how do we, how do we sell that, okay? Which is, this is usually primarily like the story. What's the story we're going to use to sell it? It's like, cool, here's the story. Maybe we're going to do that story on a webinar or a video sales letter or a long form sales letter or whatever. But there's some, there's some story that we're telling here that's gonna sell that offer, right? Pretty simple. And then the last thing is like, what's the hook we're gonna use to grab them, okay? And so the hook then for me comes back here, let's say this is Facebook or YouTube or whatever platform you're, you're selling on. Now, I wanna kind of caveat real quick. Every step in this process, there's gonna be a hook story and an offer. There's a hook story and offer in Facebook, there's a hook story offer in the sales video, um, there's a hook story offer in the upsell, like every piece has that. But as an overarching strategy, if you look at it from a high level, it's like, um, the, the macro before the micro. The macro is like the ad is like the hook, right? Then the sales message, the funnel is the story and what you're selling is the actual offer. Okay, so if you come back to like our core framework of hook, story, offer. Okay, so this is the macro looking down. Now the micro looking down again is there's hook story offer in each, every single element of this. But for this uh, question, we're gonna get to the bigger one, right? So the question is how do sales funnels and Facebook match up? So for me, it's like these two things are tying together. Very, 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 very similar, right? Um, Facebook is the group of people. So over here, there's all these people, all of our dream customers are over here. Facebook or YouTube or wherever you want to target makes it simple for us finding who are the exact customers who want our products, right? So when I started selling my, the book Dotcom Secrets, I was like, who are the people that would want this book? I'm like, okay, it's entrepreneurs who are mission driven, who whatever, right? And I figure out exactly who those people are and Facebook gives me the ability to like, to, um, to find out exactly who those people are so I can target them perfectly, right? So I'll put it like a target here. Like we can find exactly who we're trying to target almost perfectly on Facebook, okay? Now, um, the goal of this Facebook is to set the hook, right? So people are on their feed and they're scrolling through their feed as fast as they can. They're doing it at their desks, they're doing it in the bathrooms, they're doing it while they're walking, they're doing it while they're driving. It's horrible, but that's what we're doing, right? And their, your job in Facebook, the first step of the funnel is to stop them and grab them and hook them, right? So we hook them and get their attention for just long enough to send them over here, okay? And so that's kind of the first step. It's like, it's the pre-funnel. Everything happening on Facebook is like the pre-funnel, right? And from here, then the message needs to match, okay? So whatever my, Whatever my, my hook and stuff that's gonna be over here on the sales page, it has to be similar to over here. Um, we've, done, we've done funnels in the past where like our hook on the Facebook is amazing, then they come over here, it, it, there's a mismatch, and doesn't convert. No matter how good that is here or here, if there's disconnect, it doesn't work, right? In fact, a lot of times our headline for the ad will be the exact same headline that's over here, right? So I want congruency between the first step and the second step, and then from there for them to take the offer, okay? So then the strategy is like, well, how do, I, how do I do this? How do I create the hooks and the ads? And it obviously is always changing all the time, but one of my favorite things to do is we never know what hook is gonna get somebody to listen, right? So I'm trying to hook them to have them come listen to a story about why they should buy my offer. And inside the story, there might be four or five or six or 10 different things inside the story that I'm telling, right? And so inside the story, there might be a bunch of different hooks. And so I'm thinking like, what are the hooks that's gonna grab someone? Is it how quick I did it? How much weight I lost? How much money I made? How much time I took? You know, one of my success stories, my students, all these are little, little hooks. And so I look at Facebook like a big pond. I'm throwing out these different hooks trying to figure out which ones are gonna work, which ones won't work. Uh, one of my favorite examples of this was uh, Anthony D. Clemente. He owns a company called Biohacking Secrets. And he had a book he created. It was a free book to teach people how to biohack. And at first we set up the funnel, it worked awesome, but then we couldn't get people to come over. And we couldn't figure out like what hook would actually get the right people to come. Like how do we get his dream customers? So we told Anthony, go to a Facebook Live every single day and each day try a different hook. So one day he did a Facebook Live that was like, hey, I'm gonna show you guys my number one way to biohack my mitochondria or something weird like that, right? And he does a, a Facebook Live about that, puts it out there and guess what? 
it was a horrible hook. Nobody bought on it, right? Nobody, nobody came and, and watched it. So the next day he tried a different hook and he tried a different hook and he kept doing different hooks, all of them leading back to the same uh, free book offer he created. And he kept trying thing after thing and after like day 11 or day 12, he made a video that was called How to Biohack Your Vegetables. It was basically like cooking your vegetables in Kerrygold butter, something really simple. But for some reason that hook, it grabbed his dream customers. And that video ended up getting viewed over a million times, drove tons of people into his funnels and made a bunch of money, okay? So if you look at this in the macro, it's hook story offer and Facebook or the ad platform, we're throwing a whole bunch of different hooks trying to find out which the ones people grab onto. And after we get them, then we pull them back here, tell them the story, and then we make them the offer. And that's basically how Facebook and how our funnels, how they kind of coexist and how they, how they work together. Is Facebook's where we're placing a whole bunch of hooks and over here is where we're actually telling the story to then make them the offer. So I hope that helps you guys understand how those two things, Facebook funnels and sales funnels, how they work together. Thank you so much for watching. Every single week we publish new secrets just like this, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them, and I will see you on the next video.